Hi there, it's Bob here from Insidium, Top Tip Tuesday time, and on today's video we're using Nexus, and I'm going to show you how in NX Question we can apply some nice variation to transitions in our particle uh, simulations using a maths random question. So let's jump into cinema and we'll get started. In our scene, we have got this follow geo simulation happening. It's pretty simple. Dig into the scene file to see how it's done. But we've got particles emitting from this join object, which is our text. And then we've got an NX follow geo using that join as the surface for which they're following. And then a strong turbulence is giving us this nice turbulent movement. But we want to is free our particles from this and have them dissolve. So we're going to do that using this animated spherical feature which isn't actually doing anything apart from animating at the moment we're going to do that with some particle groups and a question so let's go to our XP emitter groups we're going to add two new groups let's hold control click twice once twice and we're going to use the mode of first group only so all particles are born and put into group one group two is doing nothing at the moment with our NX follow geo we're going to go to the groups affected and have it only affect group one so at the moment, again, nothing has changed. All the particles are in group one and they're all being affected by the follow geo. But now when we move the particles into group two, they'll be freed from the follow geo. And we're going to do that using this field and with uh, some questions. So let's go to an next question. And before we do anything, because we're going to use this field, let's go to the field tab of question and drag in our animated spherical field. That's the one we're going to use. And then we're going to go to the object tab. And we want to say when particles go inside this field, move into group two. So let's add a question. And we want to say if the particle field is greater than zero, so greater than zero just means anywhere inside the volume, then do something. And the something we want is an action. And we want to set not the color, but the group to, let's drag in particle group two. So that should have got our simulation. They get moved into group two, freed from the follow geo, and then the turbulence is able to move them around. Perfect. So now all we need to do is get them to die off and it'll look like we have our dissolve. Let's just make our field invisible and our text invisible. So we need to kill them off. Let's go to question because we can do it with question. Hold control, click that to deselect it, close that one up. Now I'm going to ask another question and I'm going to say, if the particles are in group two, that's the starting question. So if particle group equals uh, two, then do something. And what I want to do is in an action, I want to set their age back to zero. So their age counter gets reset to zero and starts counting again. Set it once only. Um, so we get it carrying on counting. And then I'm going to do another action and that is to set the lifespan of the particle to say 45 frames. So now we should have them dying off after 45 frames of being in group two, but it's gonna to look too uniform and yeah, look, we're getting a snapping, which isn't looking right. So now we need to add some randomness and this is where the cool um, maths node comes in. So what we're gonna do is add an additional question to this group two. So let's go to question which makes it a child. And this one, we have to set it to and. So it's saying, if it's in group two, and if it does this, then do our actions. So let's make our actions a child of that sub question. There we go. So with our sub question, we're not gonna do a particle one. We're going to use a math category question, and we're gonna use this data random. We're gonna set the time variation to particle, and we're gonna give them a random number of anywhere between 0 and 100. So on every frame, each particle is given a random number between these two values, and it changes every frame. But what we can say is, if that number on any frame is greater than, say, 70, then set their age back to 0, and then set their lifespan. So because they're not all now, because we've added that randomness, because they're not all going to get that age of 45 at the same time, yes, we're getting a much better fade of those 
particles. So that's how we can use NX question to move particles using fields, but how to randomize that movement of those questions by incorporating this maths um, question of giving particles a random number and then using that number to make things look more varied.